Hey guys, Aaron here from Sir Webalot, and I'm going to show you how to set up a website with WordPress today. Now, it's important to note that if you would like to have a website set up for you free of charge using WordPress or a number of other software platforms, Sir Webalot uh, website design actually will do this for you, so you don't need to install WordPress yourself or uh, set it all up. You can just come to our website, click free website, and sign up. But uh, for those of you who do want to learn how to set up WordPress on your own, this tutorial is going to show you how to do that. It's pretty easy. First thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to go to WordPress and download the WordPress software. I actually can't find the download when I go to wordpress.com, so I just Google WordPress download and it's the first result that comes up. So download WordPress, latest version, currently 3.4.2. And I'm just going to pause this video while that downloads. Now, guys, you can either use your own FTP program to upload uh, WordPress to your website, or for those of you who are really new, you can check out net2ftp.com and this is a web-based FTP client that will make it pretty fast and easy to upload WordPress. So I'm just going to go ahead and log in here. And guys, the address is net2ftp.com. So I'm going to log in. And what you will want to do is click the uh, upload button right here. Now browse for a zip file and you will find your WordPress file and you will uh, upload it. And what Net2FTP will do is once the zip file is finished uploading, it will automatically decompress the zip file so it's ready to go. Now I've already done that, so I've got my WordPress directory available here. And you can see all the files are uploaded. Once you have all WordPress files uploaded to your website, um, make a note uh, I've, I've uploaded my WordPress files to a directory called WordPress inside of my public HTML directory. If you upload all of the files and directories inside of the WordPress directory directly to your public HTML, that will make WordPress your home page. Uh, my configuration right here, I'll have to go to mydomain.com forward slash WordPress to access WordPress. So this is just a matter of preference. But anyway, now that it's uploaded, what I'm going to need to do is create a MySQL database for WordPress to use. And the way that I do that, and I'm going to be showing you the cPanel version of setting up a MySQL database. Depending on who you're hosted with, your MySQL database setup instructions may be different than, than this. If you would like to get a good cPanel web host, once again, guys, all you need to do is go to Sir Webalot, click free website, click sign me up, and you will get a uh, cPanel-based web host and free setup for your WordPress script and basically everything you need. But anyway, this tutorial assumes that you have cPanel installed already on your website, and the way to access that is by going to your domain, dot com forward slash cpanel. <coughs> you might get an uh, er uh, error like this. It's not an issue. Just cl click proceed anyway, if you even get that message. Uh, log in to cpanel using your FTP username and password. And scroll down until you find MySQL databases. Lick it. Create a new database. You can call it whatever you like. Remember the name. In this name, my data. In this case, my database name is 
my FTP username uh, underscore and then the name that I just typed in which was WordPress. I need to set up a MySQL user and then I need to give the user a password and then I click create user and then I click go back. Now keep in mind here that my user is uh, my FTP username and then the name that I just typed in. The name I just typed in was admin, but my full username is uh, romesvon underscore admin. This is going to be important later, so remember this. You'll be able to check back on it, but just remember that this is important. Now, the last step here is we want to add the user that we just created, admin, to the database that we just created, WordPress, or whatever you named it. Um, and then click Add, assign the user all privileges, make changes, and go back. Uh, now this database is entirely set up. What we're going to do is we're going to go to our domain name, and then we're going to go to our WordPress directory. In this case, for me, it's WordPress. If you uploaded it to a different directory, go to that directory. If you uploaded WordPress to be your home page, then just go to your domain.com. WordPress installation is going to be prompted. You're going to click create a configuration file. You're going to click let go and you're going to give WordPress the database name which as I just told you was the name that you chose, WordPress, uh, prefixed by your FTP username. So you can just copy and paste over. In this case, it's Romesvon underscore WordPress. Database username. Uh, again, come back to the cPanel, copy and paste if you like, or type it in. But once again, it's prefixed by your FTP username. Uh, the password is not prefixed, so just type in the password exactly as you created it. And the rest of the uh, information can just be left. Database host should be left as local host table prefix should be left as uh, WP underscore. Click Submit, and uh, WordPress will tell you if you have your database connection detail correct, and in this case I do. Click Run the install, and that's it. The install happens pretty fast. Um, now WordPress is going to ask you for some of your site information. And I'm just going to give it that information. <laughs> and you're going to probably want to allow search engines to index your site, so keep that checked unless you do not want search engines to find your blog. Which uh, most of you will probably want search engines to find your blog unless you have a private blog or something like that. So once you're done here, click Install WordPress, and don't worry if you want to change some of this information later, you can. Uh, all goes well. Um, WordPress has been installed, and you can log in. And WordPress is uh, now installed on your website. You will first be greeted by the admin control panel where you can uh, basically get started using WordPress. If you want to see your website homepage, uh, mouse over your uh, website name and click visit website. And WordPress shows your default installation. Um, it's put a sample blog post here called Hello World. And it's got a default template set up. Now speaking of templates, you can choose a new template by going back to the admin panel and go to the appearance tab, go to themes, and click install themes up here. And I'm going to search for every available theme just by searching with no search parameters.
and it will bring up a list of all sorts of different themes which are available. Choose the one you like and click install now. WordPress will download the theme and then to activate the theme just click activate. The theme will activate and if you go back to your website and refresh the page you will see the new theme in place. Um, to create a new blog post, and I'm going to switch back to the original theme just because it's actually a little bit clearer than this new theme that I downloaded. Um, to create a new blog post, go to Posts and go to Add New. Type in the name for your post, for the world, and uh, type in the content of your post. Yada, yada, yada. When you're done with your content, you'll click Publish. Really quick, if you want to uh, insert an image, scroll down a little bit until you see the Featured Image and Set Featured Image link. You can click that. And from here you can drag and drop, or uh, you can browse to, to find the file to upload. I'm just going to upload a couple of files so you can see how this works. So as you can see, I dragged and dropped three files in at the same time. They all uploaded, and when I'm done, I just click Save Changes. And I'm going to insert the gallery underneath the text that I've written so far and click Publish to make this post active. If I go to my website and refresh, I sh will see my new post and the image gallery that I embedded. which looks something like this. Um, another thing up here at the top, so what I just added was called a post. Posts are here. Uh, if I want to add a page, like they have up here, what I would do is I would go to Pages, and I would go to Add New. And I would give my page a, a name. Uh, an example. Hi. And, and then when I'm done creating my page, I will click Publish. Before I do that, I'm going to show you guys uh, an important thing. It's uh, the way that your site gets indexed by search engines, and it's kind of kind of important to do this. Uh, when you're adding a post or a new page, you'll see this link up here called Change Permalinks. And I'm going to click that. And you get to choose what kind of permalink you would like to use. I favor this one down here, which just uses the name of the post itself but you can choose whatever you like. I find this one the most aesthetically pleasing. You should do this uh, at the beginning. Choose the type of URL that you like, save it, and then you can continue on adding your posts and pages. So I just published that page, and if I go back to my WordPress site, I will see that page now available in my header. And that's how I add a new page. Um, there is a lot more to know, and there's a lot more that you can do with your WordPress website, but I am not going to be the one who shows you or tells you how to do that. There are a lot of tutorials available on the WordPress website, and there will be more tutorials on YouTube. This, however, will get you started. So, yeah, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If any of this seems like more than you want to try to figure out on your own or follow along with, once again, go to sirwebalot.com and uh, all you need to do 
is click their free hosting button and they will set up everything for you. So it's all free. Just check it out if you're interested. Thanks guys. Hope you enjoyed the video and uh, hopefully have more, more to come soon.